Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for Thank showing for us around me. here. I'm very excited. So Peggy is a working girl. I'm guessing the SSR ain't paying her a lot of money. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit about your inspiration for her wardrobe and what, what we see. Well, she does have a little fashion edge. Mm -hmm. Coming from Britain and everything, mm -hmm. she has a little more style. The fabrics yeah. that she had were commonplace then. Okay. Whereas um, now it's a big, bigger deal. Yeah, I was going to say silk. I always think like luxury right, right, fabric. Right. It was a much more of a structured, tailored mm -hmm. um, style, and it, it highlighted a woman's figure. So yeah. it's actually much more flattering than the clothes are today. Mm -hmm. The skirts that she usually wears is, uh, are uh, the A-line, Gord mm -hmm. A-line. So it gives her plenty of freedom to a kick. Hua. And that was the style then. So fortunately, mm -hmm. that all uh, works yeah. out. A lot of hubbub today. Hey, DC lines hot. Love the hat. I had picked a red, white, and blue mm -hmm. in this, and it was a throwback to the Captain America, you know, thinking of her lost love. That's where that idea came from. Mm -hmm. We have that red hat right uh, above is this us. It right <laughs> that red hat right above us. The suit is a, a three toned blue, mm -hmm. and then the blouse is a off white mm -hmm. crepe with red stitching on it. Oh. So you have the red, white, and blue. You look like a lady looking to dance. I'm afraid I'd only step on your toes. This is a pretty classic Veronica Lake mm -hmm. look. And with the blonde wig, it just killer. When she is doing an action scene, are there things you have to sew into a dress or into to, so that oh, she can it. kick or do whatever? Or? Yes, this had all this built in to add strength to the dress mm, for okay. all the action. It's not just a, a little lightweight uh, dress <laughs> no, because no. this would fall, fall apart. apart. I've been wallowing in it since the war, wondering why no one would give Agent Peggy Carter a shot. This has been a, a favorite, the, the oh, navy yeah. mm -hmm. um, with the coral. And it's a beautiful, stunning dress. The period clothes, there's a little fading here, but it didn't show. All the pieces that we have uh, in the vintage world are from the 40s. Wow. And it's amazing to say that the quality was there, that they did last. Assuming I'm accepted, I've never rented a flat that required an interview. It's just a formality, you'll ace it. Miriam's a total pussycat. And this one um, we made, and it's brown wool crepe. The pink here, or the peach pink, was dyed. They had wool crepe then, they had rayon yeah. crepe. So I'm able to use fabrics that were available then. I do have to get the new versions of it because we use such quantity that there's right. pieces you can find to make a small, mm -hmm. like maybe a dress, but not to make four or five dresses. Yeah. I know the pants have become very popular. Mm -hmm. So here are some of the pants that we have. Pants were really big on women there. They weren't, uh, uh, certainly not in the business situation. They had to do mm -hmm. what men did, but they did it in heels and skirts. We had a segment where she had to go undercover, and so it was appropriate for her to wear pants. It was a definitely an interesting time, turning point, and mm -hmm. it's a, definitely a fun time.